A brief update, you may have seen my write-up, but for those who haven't, I, I do a quarterly write-up giving the performance of the fund to our investors and interested parties. The Security Income Fund, just to give you a brief background, that's an evergreen fund which we use to make bridge loans that are secured by fresh trustees. So we're essentially a bank. The bridge loans are all very short duration. Our origination rates right now are between 12 and 15% with two or three points up front. We're using very conservative underwriting guidelines for that portfolio now. If you've seen my previous comments, we think that's appropriate in this environment where the banks continue not to lend for things like ground up construction. Their balance sheets are still, I think, impaired by what they have in CMBS and those type of assets. So they're, they pull back their lending and it's opened, I would say, a wide opportunity for uh, funds like Paradigm Security Income Fund to come in and uh, capture market share for the certainly the bridge loans uh, that we're making. So we had our one of our best quarters ever in the first quarter. We're up 3.19%. We paid out our prop, which is at currently being paid out at a 10% uh, annual rate for our investors. So we distribute that quarterly. So very happy with the performance. We're seeing a shift in the market. We're seeing a shift away from the fix and flip market because of the impact the Fed has had on interest rates and the overall housing market. I think everyone's aware that inventories are lower, interest rates are higher, and what that does is effectively reduce supply of homes that are either on the market for sale or being acquired by developers to redevelop that property. So what we've seen is a little bit shift away from fix and flip, which is probably 60% or 70% of our portfolio, down to 20 to 30% of our portfolio, and that's being made up with bridge loans of other natures like ground up construction or acquisition financing. But similar underwriting standards to what we're looking at. We're happy with the origination rates uh, that we're getting on those loans. So overall, all the funds in a really, really good place from that perspective, and, and we think it will be for you know the foreseeable future. The Fed, just as a as a quick aside, you know our expectation is by the first quarter of next year the Fed begins to lower rates. That's going to have a counterintuitive impact to we think to real estate markets. We think at that point what it does is it sparks building, it sparks construction, and it sparks people selling their homes because mortgage rates have come down a bit and and therefore the activity increases. What that does is increase supply, right? So. The demand side of the equation is not going to change. We still need to develop somewhere between five and seven million homes in the U.S. We're nowhere near that at the moment. So the demand side will be solid. It's really getting the inventories back out onto the market. So once that happens, we could see home prices settle in or make maybe stabilize or potentially fall up. A touch, but that would be, you know, from our perspective, that would be very positive, and for the fix and flip market, it would spark that activity up again. So, we're in a bit of a holding pattern, waiting for that to happen. That's sort of a first quarter, second quarter event of next year. The Security Income Fund is currently raising capital. We want to get that fund up to about a hundred million dollars to really satiate the opportunity and the opportunity that market is presenting to people like funds and, and companies like Paradigm. It's an amazing opportunity. We think the overall market doubles from $5 trillion to $10 trillion over the next few years. And it will be the private credit shops that have the experience, have underwritten before, have the right people in place to review the opportunities. And in Paradigm's perspective, and from a company, not only are we a lender, but we're also a developer. That's a huge advantage to the fund itself, because if there is an issue with an underlying property, Paradigm has the development skills to come in and finish that job, analyze the risks, and, and take it to fruition. I think we're very unique in our space in that, that we have both the development side and the underwriting skills to really be very, very successful in the market. So we're excited about it. Again, first quarter was fantastic. We're on track for another good quarter for the second quarter. Again, the activity I think will be focused on ground up. It'll be with developers that are, you know, that have done this before, that have the track record. Ground up is particularly attractive right now, especially in the single family and multifamily space. We're super excited about that. It's a landscape right now that's perfect for us because the banks have taken themselves out of that market. Therefore, pricing and opportunities of them. Very, very happy to give you that update. We think the SIF is perfectly positioned and we'd expect both from an investor standpoint,
to have more capital flowing into that fund and from a return uh, standpoint to sort of continue to see what we saw in the first quarter of this year. Thanks for listening to this short video on the Security Income Fund. Once again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me personally. I'm always available to answer questions and look forward to speaking with you.